Victor, uh, congratulations. Uh, you've had your return to badminton with uh, playing in Thailand and, and recently in Finland. But does this week sort of mark the uh, the proper comeback of badminton with the race to Tokyo commencing again? Is, is it extra special coming back to the Swiss Open? Um, it's always special to play here. It's been uh, many years now and my first like bigger international tournament win was here in uh, Basel so it will always be special for me I have good memory from here um, however uh, this is um, obviously I have all England uh, as a bigger target than this tournament um, but uh, this is still really important for me um, as there's also uh, Olympic qualification points um, here so um, it's an important tournament but um, yeah of course, you're still uh, basking in the glow of the uh, Danish gold uh, two weeks ago. But how are you feeling on court? There it was uh, some close exchanges in the, in the first game, but then you really uh, showed what you can do in the second one. Yeah, I think Howard he played really well in the first game and uh, had some really good, uh, really good shots. Um, and I was moving a little bit uh, slow, maybe, and played uh, a little bit too slow also. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy that I managed to step up in the second game, and I think that I. Felt pretty okay and uh, moved okay also, so uh, all in all, uh, a good first round here. There was a moment in the match where you hit a smash down the line. It was out, but it was called in, and, mm. and you sort of corrected it yourself. Uh, you don't really see that much in, in, in sport, but is, is that important to have, that, that sort of sportsmanship uh, on court? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, it was like well out, um, so it, uh, it would have been a little bit unfair if I got that point. Uh, I think the line judge is here because they're sitting you know, from a really awkward angle um, and I don't, yeah, I don't see how uh, they can do like, a good job all the time, they are having a really tough job. So hopefully uh, we'll be able in the near future uh, from, from the first rounds on to have like, more line judges for these tournaments, um, but uh, yeah, you know, that's, that was what, what I wanted to do. So. That's how it is. Uh, lastly, in Finland, you mentioned you've been working on a few shots on your on your backhand, sort of uh, very skillful, hard to do shots, powerful shots on the backhand. Can you just explain what what's the backhand? What role does it have in men, in modern and top level men singles? Oh, I think the shot you're referring to, like the reverse slice, uh, is some a shot I mainly just worked on for fun. Mainly, uh, you have to be pretty confident before you hit that shot. Uh, it's not something I'm gonna do at 20, 2020 or twenty or so. Um, so it, it has been fun to have you know some time here before these tournaments started uh, to work on different stuff and most importantly uh, I feel like my body is working optimal. Uh, Sean Casey, my physical preparation coach, and I have been working really hard uh, and uh, he has written up some cool programs which is uh, paying off. So it's nice. Fantastic, well played, and uh, best of luck in the next round. Thank you. Victor.